हेलो गाइस अस्सलाम वालेकुम और यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल एंड टुडे वी हैव न्यू लेसन दैट इज राइट एंगल सो व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी हियर वी विल लर्न हियर डेफिनेशन ऑफ एंगल एग्जांपल्स टाइप्स ऑफ एंगल राइट एंगल एक्यूट एंगल एंड ऑप्टूज एंगल सो गाइस व्हाट इज एंगल angle is a figure formed whenever two lines meet at a common point uh, common point or common end you can say so whenever one line joins with another line having the same end this mean they are making an angle or you can say angle is the amount of turn between two straight lines because when one straight line joins with the another straight with by having same corner and uh, the amount of turn between them you can say it is your angle and it is measured in degrees and degree is represented by the symbol small o yeah, like you can see here in the slides so angles are all around us and if there are two rays such that they have common end point then the amount of curl between these two lines will be their angle so you have uh, Uh, too uh, many examples of angle like book window door everything around you is having angles these are the different examples of angle if you see the first one the slope line that is intersecting on the first corner you can find the first corner here there is only one corner in this first shape so this is the the it's, it's joining with the straight horizontal line and they are making an angle If you look at the second figure, they are also uh, you can find two lines and they are joining with the one common point. I mean that's mean one corner, and uh, the third line also a straight vertical line joining with a straight horizontal line and they have one corner, so they are making angle. Every figure here are uh, having different angles, and uh, these about these angles you will study in next slides. The types of angle. well uh, we are discussing here the three common types of angle and that are the uh, first one is acute acute angle and the second one is uh, right angle and third one is obtuse angle so in the next slides we will study about these angles start with the right angle right angle is angle which is formed by two lines which are perpendicular to each other uh, what does it mean perpendicular a vertical straight line when joins with the vertical uh, when joins with this horizontal straight line then they form right angle and right angle is represented by a small square box uh, at the corner point and it is if you measure them with the help of protector so you will find it is exactly 90 degrees whenever two lines intersect each other at 90 degree so this angle you will say it is a right angle or what you can do if you have a piece of paper you can make a small square or you can fix it in any shape and you can find if the horizontal end and the vertical end is meeting with the any shape that's mean they are having right angle triangle these are some examples of a right angle we start with a square uh, square if you see that uh, the first corner uh, at the first corner you can find as some uh, you can find a small square in a square and that is showing 90 degree angle as in the previous slide i told you that this small square box represent that 90 degree angle so uh, when a one vertical straight line joining with the one horizontal straight line and they are making 90 degree angle in a square there is not one right angle if you find on the other side on the opposite uh, the opposite side you there is also one vertical line and this one horizontal line and they are forming another 90 degree angle the two sides the remaining two sides will also be making uh, will also be forming right angles because these are also one uh, vertical and one horizontal so come on come to the rectangle now so A rectangle is uh, same as a square you know just uh, in a square you have all sides are equal and in rectangle only opposite sides are equal so but uh, the 
they are making 90 degree angles uh, in the square you can see they are also four right angles and in the rectangle they are also uh, four right angles the first one is mentioned here with the square box second one on the right side third one on the top of the right side and fourth one on the top of the left side but if you see a right angle so they are not having three right angles so how because uh, if you see the first one vertical line and the, if you see the small square box that is representing 90 degree angle this is the only right angle in this uh, right angle triangle if you see the one vertical line that's joining with one horizontal straight uh, straight horizontal line they are forming 90 degree angle that's okay but the third one is uh, like a slope uh, third one is sloped line and they are not having uh, vertical straight vertical line that's why uh, they are not making it. and you can say it's a half of a square uh, also if you you make it a uh, full vertical if i uh, make a line if i draw a line from the second uh, from the right of the second corner and then it can be there can be a uh, 90 degree angle but we have to raise this erase line and we have to make it vertical let's come to the coordinators uh, these coordinators uh, uh, if you check the first one the green one they are having 190 degree angle a straight vertical line joining with a straight horizontal line and forming a 90 degree angle which is reprint, represented here with a small box and uh, you can find one more 90 degree angle uh, just opposite to that uh, 90 degree uh, this opposite to this corner uh, on the top of the side so that's uh, also there one vertical straight vertical line joining with a straight horizontal line and uh, what you can do if you have a, because uh, you know now that a square and rectangle uh, they both have all right angles in their sides they are, their angles are all are right angles so if you have a small square you can just put uh, on uh, this quadrilaterals and when you put this quadrilateral small square in the quadrilateral so you will find the square the sh you, the shape of the square uh, this first end will be meeting with the horizontal line and second end will be meeting at the vertical line that's mean they are having 90 degree angle if you put them the second one uh, you will find also but uh, if you come on the right side and you will see the slope line and you will put this square here so you will not find uh, you will find that uh, your square shape is uh, having extra area rather than this slope line because uh, this is less than 90 degree it's not exactly vertical so there is no uh, horizontal straight uh, there is no straight vertical line that's why this is not right angle and the another quadrilateral if you see so there is only 190 degree angle uh, where a straight vertical line joining with straight horizontal lines and that is represented as small box and other two lines are sloped so these are not right angles now what is acute angle Acute angle is an angle which is smaller than right angle. Uh, smaller than right angle that means the space between the two lines in the acute angle will be less than right angle. Like uh, in uh, right angle triangle you have one vertical line and one horizontal line. So you have good space between these horizontal and vertical line. But in acute angle you will find a less space between these two lines and obviously when you measure them with the help of protector. So you will find the angle sh uh, should be less than 90 degree either 85, 80, 70, 60, 40 and whatever. Right. So let's have uh, examples of acute angle. So here we have two examples of acute angle. The one is measuring 45 degree and one is measuring 54 degree. If you look these two, so you can easily uh, find that there is uh, less distance between these two lines rather than right angle. If you want to make it 90 degree angles, so this uh, slope line, uh, you have to make this slope line into a vertical form and straight vertical form so, they, that, so that they can be uh, 90 degree angle. So remember, that uh, acute angle is less than 90 degree angle next we have obtuse obtuse angle obtuse angle is an angle which is greater than right angle so uh, like you will find more space in obtuse angle rather than right angle uh, between the, the two lines and uh, if you measure them so you will find their angle greater than 90 might be 100 110 120 130 here we have example of obtuse angle and uh, you can find two lines are forming an angle here 
you have one horizontal straight line but you don't have straight vertical line and uh, this is uh, you are saying this is getting wider and it's moving up to the left side and uh, you can find the distance between these two uh, lines are greater than 90 degree angle so you can easily say that's an obtuse, obtuse angle it might be um, 110, 120, 130 any angle right here we have same figure which we studied in the first uh, second slide this is just to uh, check your level now can you identify the uh, right angle here or can you identify the acute angles here can you identify the obtuse angles here so I'm giving you this uh, as a homework you have to uh, check this picture and you have to identify which are right angle which are acute angle and which are obtuse angle so thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoy watching this video and uh, take care of yourself have a nice day I will meet you in the next video inshallah until then take care Allah fez